Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGuard.com and in this video we are going to look at how to use the char function of Excel and we will see a couple of examples of its use as well. Now the char function its job is to return a character specified by a code from your character set. So it's most typically used to either insert or to find a text character that you would not ordinarily have on your keyboard. So it's difficult for you to type or to insert, etc. That's where this comes in handy, this function. So if you're going to use it, the first thing you need to find out is what the code is for the character you're interested in at that point in time. And you can search online for that. The the code depends on the character set used by your computer. So whether you're on a Windows machine or a Mac, it also is determined by the language as well. So that's something that you'll need to do a quick Google, quick search for, find the full list of character set and see the one that you want. OK, so let's go into the examples and see why you would want to use this function. OK, now in this first example, we are going to see the char function being used to create line breaks when concatenating text. So I've got a typical example here of some addresses, but the way I've received this data is that they are in separate columns. I would like to join them into one column, but I don't want them to appear as one long line, one long string. I want them to be on separate lines, so I need a line break. And typically I can perform that with the Alt and Enter keys on the, the kind of keyboard net that I'm using. But, you know, I may have tons of these addresses. So I'm looking for a formula approach. And that is where this will come in handy. So let's see this in action. Now the first thing I need to do is highlight the cells where the result will appear and apply wrap text. This is essential to do. You don't have to do it before. You can do it after. But this technique will not work if the cells are not wrapped as well. So I've applied that to these cells in advance. I can now get into the formula. So I'm going to use uh, my equal sign and then I'll reference my first cell, which is the address one. And put in my ampersand, which is my concatenation operator. And now I need my first line break. So I bring in the char function. Here it tells me it will return a character specified by a code. I need to know that code. Now for my character set right now, that is 10. I've already looked that up. That is something that you may need to do. It may not be 10 for you. Uh, so it depends on your language and the, the type of computer you're using. It is for me, that is line break. I can then ampersand on to that the next piece of information, followed by another line break. This is a bit of repetition here, just picking up the speed of this video. I'm concatenating each bit. I now need the county. I need to join on another line break, which is character 10. And then finally, the last bit. So I've got the first bit of the address, line break, second bit of the address, line break, third bit of the address, line break, last bit of the address. So when I press enter, and I'm going to resize that row, they are now on separate lines. And if I copy that formula down, and I could probably do a zooming out a little bit now <laughs> to see this, that is the approach that I've taken. I can then tidy up my formatting and stuff if I feel it relevant. But that is one example of the char function, to be able to use or to insert line breaks when you're cleaning up uh, data and you're improving the presentation of data. When you're dealing with huge lists that may have been sent to you or downloaded, you're always dealing with it in the aftermath. You can't be typing these line breaks in. So inserting them using the char function is a typical example of its use in the real world. Let's go and look at another example of the char function. Okay, now in this example of the char function, we will see it being used 
to remove unwanted characters. And I've got these three examples on screen where I have a line break in them. And I've also got that kind of funny symbol, that question mark symbol, uh, which I know is character 12 from the character set I've got. And this can be the kind of stuff that you receive when you're copying data from the web and you're downloading it from places that sometimes it won't be clean and it may come in with what seem to be odd characters. This is another situation where the char function can help you out. First thing you do, find out what the code is for that character if you don't already know. And now I'm going to use a function called substitute. Now this will replace existing text with new text. So I'm going to use it to replace that strange kind of symbol that I've got. So the text is the cell that contains information you're looking at doing some substituting in. If I put my comma, the old text will be the character 12 as I know it. In goes that char function. The new text is going to be nothing. I want to completely clean out that cell. And I don't need to mention an instance. If there are many examples of that character, I can pick on a specific instance, like the fifth one or the second one. And that's a really good um, argument in the substitute function. If this is the first time you've heard of substitute, it might be something you want to check out. It's a really, really useful text function. Right now, though, I don't need that stuff. I'm just going to close my bracket, and if I press enter, that would take out all those symbols. But I don't want to press enter yet, because I also have a line break to remove. So I want to go back to the start, and I'm going to kick off another substitute function. This one's going to accept the previous substitute function as the text, so the one that already has those weird symbols removed. I'll put a comma in, and now I want to look for the line break. And that was character 10, as from the previous example. This time I'm going to replace that with a comma and a space. So this Excel Word PowerPoint from my first cell will be Excel, comma, space, word, comma, space, PowerPoint. No line breaks, no funny symbols. I close bracket on that. I'm not interested in an instance again. That I could pick on only the kind of second occurrence of a line break if that was helpful to me. I press enter and the job is done and I copy it down. So the char function, another you know helpful situation for it is that it can help you remove unwanted characters from your data. This would now need a little bit of cleaning up, you know, I wouldn't need this column anymore. Copy and paste special values, get rid of that, job is done. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.